Um, I know Hoboken has a lot going on, so I'm a little, you know, this, this may not seem like the most important thing with what's happening um, um, of late with, with their community safety, which I'm, I'm well aware of. I moved to Hoboken in the mid nineties. Uh, I've been a Hudson County resident ever since. I now live in West New York, but I spend a fair amount of time here in town, uh, regularly helping those in need at the Hoboken Community Center and at St. Matthew's Church. Uh, many of the same issues that impact Hoboken and residents uh, also impact residents throughout the county. And I know that rising taxes and school costs have been contentious issues here in town. So having said that, I'd like to ask kind of a preposterous question here. How do you think it would be received by students if you decided to build a school in Sinatra Park or Church Square Park? Sound, sounds kind of crazy. And I hope you would reject that idea outright. But so how would you feel if you heard that a neighboring town wanted to build a school in a Hudson County Park with the condition that Hoboken residents help pay for it? While that also might seem a bit absurd, that's exactly what's happening right now in North Bergen. North Bergen is in the final stages of a DEP application process to divert Green Acres encumbered, encumbered county parkland for the purpose of building a permanent preschool in Braddock County Park. Hudson County tax revenue and therefore Hoboken resident taxes has already been utilized to acquire replacement lands for this project. In all likelihood, more county tax revenue will be necessary as the plans probably are gonna to need to expand the footprint that they've asked for, which is gonna require more of an investment. And the county has an agreement with North Bergen to foot the bill. Why does North Bergen wanna do this? Despite significant de declines in enrollment, North Bergen complains that for the better part of 23 years, 23 years, they haven't been able to find a single alternative site for their preschool kits. Uh, they say there's no other option than a county park. That's despite the fact that their Board of Education owns a property that's triple the size of what they want to use in Braddock, but they won't use the Board of Education property because they say it's critical recreational space. So their town park is more, than, more important than our county park. For those of you that aren't familiar with Braddock, it's a beautiful place. It's 167 acres open to all county residents and it's packed on the weekends. Many, Hobo many of Hoboken's pickleball players have recently discovered it and can attest how lovely it is. Schools don't belong in county parks and towns should fund their own school projects. I'm just curious if I could get a show of hands here of people who agree with me. Thank, thank you. So I'm here tonight with a draft resolution that opposes the Braddock Park diversion that I'd like to ask the town council to consider for adoption. So I'm gonna leave this behind and ask if any of you would work with me to discuss how we can bring this to a vote at a future, at a future meeting. Um, and lastly, um, you know, if we get enough towns in the county to, to pass this, we can put pressure on the county commissioners to um, withdraw their support. Uh, and I'll just say for residents that aren't familiar with this, if you want to get involved, you can contact me. Again, my name is Mark Bloomberg. We have an email address. It's noschoolinbraddockpark at gmail.com. Noschoolinbraddockpark at gmail.com and you can get in touch with me for future actions that we're taking on this. I really appreciate your time this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bloomberg.